the crucifixion of Jesus, you have read the story that Pilate put a title over the cross. What most people do not know is in the time of Passover, Jewish people would take a bronze name tag and tie it around the neck of their lamb just to show God that they're keeping the Passover. If I take a lamb representing my family and maybe another poor family, I would put the name Stone on this bronze name tag around the neck of that lamb. And when it's offered, God would know I have kept the Passover and have presented my lamb. The family name had to be on the lamb. Okay. Here's what Pilate did to the inscription on the cross. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. This title was read by many of the Jews for the place where Jesus was crucified was not in the city. And it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Forget the Latin, forget the Greek, because in Jerusalem they don't speak Hebrew. But the question is, what did they say in Hebrew? Now what you have to do is this, the New Testament is written in Greek. So you've got to take the Greek language of Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, and translate it back to Hebrew. If you know anything about Greek, the key letter is the letter Omicron in Greek. Omicron, because it, it can be translated of the as the or a. For example, in Pergamos, there was an inscription to a temple of Zeus, and here's what it says. Zeus of Pergamos and king and God. And the and there's the Omicron. Zeus of Pergamos and king and God. Pilate probably got that title idea from that temple that was in Pergamos. Jesus of Nazareth, king of the Jews. Alright, if you take it from Greek and translate it back to Hebrew, it's on the cross. And the religious Jews are going nuts looking at this. It translates in Hebrew, Yeshua Hanetzret Vomelik Kehudin means nothing to you sitting there. I know it means absolutely nothing. But if you're Catholic or you're from a Catholic background, you know that Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, in Latin, that if you take the first letter of Jesus, it's an it's an I. Nazareth is the letter N in Latin. King is Rex. So it's an R. And the Jews, the J is an I. So that's why on crucifixes, you have I-N-R-I. -I. Anybody ever wondered that, why you have a little I-N-R-I? -I? That is Latin for the first letters of Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. But wait a minute. What if we do it in Hebrew? <sighs> if you drop Yeshua HaNazret Vomelech Hehudim and take the first letter, hey, and drop it down, show them what it spells in Hebrew. Yod, Hey, Vav, Hey, which is Yahweh. Uh, oh, you're going to get this in a minute. That name is found almost 7,000 times in the Old Testament. It's the name of God the Father. You call him Jehovah in English. His name is Yahweh. You understand what I'm saying? On the cross, when Pilate put that mockery up there, he didn't realize what he was doing. Because when the scribes, which they do, drop the first letter of every word down, Pilate was saying, it's God who is hanging on this cross. And God put his name on his land on the day that Jesus died for you and me. Now there's... Hey! Hey! hey.